champion of the world, Macho Man nothing Randy. Nothing means nothing. 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 nothing means nothing. Man. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? Or I'm talking about all the way to the top, yeah. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Macho Madness, yeah, has got more to offer than President Jack Tunney thinks that I got, yeah. All I'm right, uh, Alexander. We're about done here, buddy. I'm ready to slap this pup back in the cab. And call it a day. Let's test that reverb out. You know what I mean? But she's done. We'll get to the uh, recapping of these Mallory's at another time per your request. And we'll just take it from there. But as it stands, she's a thing of beauty. She's ready to go. So that's it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Boy, what a mistake <laughs> this thing was. <laughs> this is way too big. I have no space for this. Okay, this vintage 1972 twin reverb has a replacement vintage Schumacher transformer that's almost just right. It doesn't have a center tap for the high voltage secondary. But we can fix that by creating an artificial center tap for that. I'm not talking about the one you typically see on, on the pilot lamp for the filament supply. These little guys down there. You see those guys right there? Boop, down there. I'm not talking about that. I'll show you how to create an artificial center tap for your high voltage secondary if that's the uh, type of transformer you end up with. Bye. All right, here she is finished. Now we go with an artificial center tap for your high tension secondary winding here. So you have your usual suspects, the usual arrangement where you would bring that over to the four rectifier diodes there. And then uh, what you'll do is you'll take another four oriented in the same direction and then give them a ground reference and then it's literally a center tap. All right, here we go. And I'm done with the board here. So we've created a artificial center tap for your high tension secondary winding there. That's gonna feed all your plates and all that good stuff. So um, what you would have on your uh, traditional Fender Schumacher power transformer um, for, for this circuit in particular would be just this half, this half here. In order to create this center tap, you would create another, uh, you'd basically create a mirror image of this here and then tap it in the center and give it a ground reference on the other side. So that's how that works.